Communication between applications in different systems in the SAP environment includes connections between SAP systems as well as between SAP systems and non-SAP systems. Remote Function Call RFC, is the standard SAP interface for communication between SAP systems. RFC calls a function to be executed in a remote system. For business applications, it is necessary to communicate and exchange information, in predefined formats, with other systems. Any ABAP program can call a remote function using the call function destination statement. The destination parameter tells the SAP system that the called function runs in a system other than the callers. Hi there. Let me show you how our training courses work in this short sample lesson. Just follow the on-screen instructions now showing the video simulation on how to create remote function module. We will create the remote function module for adding the two values. First go to the transaction code SE37. The following screen will open then write the function module name. Click on create button. Now we set the input parameters. Now we set the export parameters. Now write the source code. Now click on attribute tab write the short text, chose the existing function group and then click on remote enabled module radio button then save and activate the function module. Remote function module has been successfully created. Go to the transaction code SM59. The following screen will open. Now click on create button the following screen will open.
Now write the RFC destination name, chose the connection type, write the description, write the target host and click on host name radio button. Now click the Logon and Security tab. Click on Current User checkbox and click on Logon Screen checkbox. Now save and then click on Connection Test button. It will check your connection. RFC destination has been successfully created. Now we will call the remote function module for fetching the data. First you call the function module and then set the destination which you have done in SM59. Enter the values. Now click on Execute button. The following screen will open. Type your password and then press Enter key. And it's live. Thank you.